In this video, we're going to be looking at reducing to linear form. Now, to give you a bit of background to what this type of problem involves, what happens is that, let's say that there is a scientific experiment, and the scientist plots their data, and the data looks something like that. So the data that they've plotted doesn't look like it's going in a straight line. Okay? And subsequently, they think, well, it's not in a straight line, but it looks like a curve that I may be able to estimate. Okay? Now, the reason why you want to try and match your data to a curve or to a line is in order to extrapolate, to determine what other values would be without having to record them um, scientifically, or, well, record them accurately in uh, part of a, an experiment. So maybe these data points um, are, well, work along this red curve. And the red curve has the equation y is equal to ax to the n, for example. Okay, So the scientist presupposes that, let's say that the, la the curve has the equation y is equal to ax to the n. And we're going to make sure that we understand that the a and the n are constants. Okay, So they are numbers that we want to find. So if a and n are constant, x and y are variables. Okay, So they are variables because they vary. So in equations, you have constants and you have variables. Constants um, are the numbers like 2 or minus 3 or 5. And you could also represent them with letters. They're like the constant of integration, OK, when we get round to that bit. So a and n are constants, x and y are variables. OK, so when we talk about reducing something to linear form, it looks at, instead of finding, uh, being able to find a and n, by looking at the curve, which is quite challenging, I can reduce this equation to a linear form, a straight line. And I do that using logarithms. So if I log both sides, so I'm going to take logs of base 10, so log y is equal to log of ax to the n. Now, this logarithm here can be split apart using one of the log laws. So I have log a plus log of x to the n. And then the n can come down to the front. So if I rewrite that as log y is equal to um, n log x plus log a, then we can relate that back to a straight line equation as y equals m x plus c. OK? Now, the x and the y, remember, are variables. And so, and the n and the log a are constant. So that means that I could plot my data, rather than plotting it on an xy grid, where the data curves, I can plot it on a log x, log y grid, and the data this time will be in a straight line.
don't know how good that straight line was, but it will do. And it will be intersecting the y-axis, the log y-axis, at log a. And so if I plotted my data and I drew a nice straight line that went through that data, I would be able to estimate what log a is equal to now. And I can estimate n by looking at the gradient of the line. And so that will enable me to find n and a. And so this is the process that we're going to be going through. Let's have a look at b now, just so that we can see how this is going to work in another case. So I'm going to do this in exact, well, in a very, very similar way. This time we've got y is equal to AX, a n to the x. a and n are constants, x and y are still the variables. So I'm going to log both sides first. So log of y is equal to log of a n to the x. I'm going to split that logarithm apart. Oh, sorry. That's n to the x. The x can come down to the front. And now I'm just going to rewrite that. So log y is equal to... Uh, let's have log n times x uh, plus log a. So we can easily compare it with y equals m x plus c. Okay? So now what we have is that we've reduced it to linear form. So instead of my plotted points, uh, maybe they look like that this time. Or... Okay, maybe they look like that. And now, if I plot x, because that's the x that I have, against log y, these are my variables now, then I'm going to get a straight line where this intersection point with the y-axis is log a, and the gradient of the line will be log n. And that will enable me to find a and n. So this is the concept, OK? And this reduction to linear, linear form is an important first step of the process in uh, answering these examination questions.